What do we have here? I can make a start on filling the front end now. Before I completely cover this panel in body filler, I'm going to take the edges off just so I can get more. Of I thought I'd do a voiceover of the work I'm doing on the car at the moment. Um, so this is episode 32. I'm currently about just over 700 hours into the project, so um, a fair way in. And there's still a lot of body work to do still, as you can imagine. But at the moment, I'm just basically getting the car body filler on the car so I can get a nice smooth finish to take a mould from um, to make the panels. So I'm just roughing off the edges at the moment just so I can get a good amount of filler on without it cracking. Um, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and see how I get on here. I'm just using up the last of the original tin that I had um, before I start on the new ones. So it doesn't really matter how much you use the or how much of the hardener you use. Um, it just goes off a lot quicker obviously if you put lots on. Um, I mean averagely it takes about 20 minutes to dry so I tend to use small amounts at a time so I can just kind of take my time. If you make loads up at once you kind of rush things and um, you can make mistakes a lot quicker. I want to get a try and get a good finish straight away so obviously the, the rougher it is the more work you have once it's dry and you have to sand it all down. So the more time you spend getting it nice and smooth initially it saves a hell of a lot of time when it comes to sanding it. The bit I'm working on now on the tips of the wings I want to make round slightly. If I make them really sharp it's going to cause issues when it comes to MOTing the car or making it roadworthy. So it's important for me to get a nice round edge on all the sharp angles. Unfortunately I can't take the doors off um, the way the panel's set up the driver and passenger door can't be removed at the moment so I'm going to have to take the moulds with the doors on the car which is a bit of a shame but there's actually no way around it because I can't get to the bolts which um, you have to have the door open to get the bolts off. So I'm working on the dip of the wing now. I'm trying to get them the same either side obviously so I can do this a couple of different ways, you can obviously do it by eye. You can also take measurements from the bonnet line. Because I've set the bonnet up square on the car, I can actually take measurements at various points along the, um, basically the ridge line <coughs> of the panel. So, um, and go off gaps off the lights and things like that. But I'm just trying to get a really nice consistent smooth line. So working my way around the front of the car, I had a couple of thoughts on this. Um, basically where you can see the Peugeot badge, it, um, it's kind of like a slightly more rounded part, where literally where my hand was just then. Um, so I was just debating whether to keep a nice consistent ridge line, um, where I'm just smoothing it off there, or to make it rounded, but I think I want to go for more of a sharper angle just to keep that nice curve um, that follows all, all the way around up to the top of the back of the arch. So um, I'm going with a more aggressive line, which um, I think I've made the right choice there. Just working my way around to the passenger side. Um, yeah, this body filler is really nice and easy to use. It's um, super. It's just an easy one filler um, from U-Pole. And it's um, yeah very easy to sand, so that's why I use this stuff. The 
as I'm putting the filler on the car. There is slight flex in the whole bumper, as you can imagine, it's quite a big surface area. So I'm sort of noticeably trying not to push too hard to make any kind of movement in the, the bumper and cause any cracking or anything. So um, I'm just kind of be, trying to be as gentle as I can. And again, trying to make it the same as the driver's side. The bit I'm doing just now that is a, quite a thick part. Um, it wasn't completely dry, the base filler, but it was dry enough, I think, to um, avoid any kind of cracking along the um, along the road ahead. The light broke um, on the front part of the, um, I've got two lights and um, the one currently where I'm working broke so the light isn't very good. When you're using filler always clean off your tools because when you get, um, when it dries out it really dries and it's quite hard to get it off. And when you're mixing filler with this stuff the hardener is red so you just want to get a nice smooth consistent colour if you see streaks or lines in the filler then you need to keep mixing it but obviously uh, it's a ticking time bomb as soon as you start mixing it you have a limited amount of time to uh, get it on the car before it dries up this part is definitely the hardest to sculpt So any excess I just use on other parts which um, need some filler as well. Uh, it's always it's always worth taking the extra time to scrape the excess off or any little bits because it's a lot quicker than obviously trying to sand it off when it's dry. Getting the last of it on the car. So there's quite a lot of filler going on now um, on the underside. But I'm really happy with the line, um, the curvature from the center of the front that goes up round. Um, you can't really see it from this angle, but from where I'm um, currently looking on the car now it's a really um, progressive line and it looks quite natural um, as part of the original bumper shape be nice to see it one color This is the part I struggled with the most. I just think it was the angle it was, um, and I was trying not to get in the way of the camera either, but um, it took a while this side. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with the way the car looks and um, it's been nice to completely redesign the shape of it um, front and back. So I'm looking forward to starting on the back when I get the um, the window in so I can do the setup on the height um, of like the swollen rear quarters.
just trying to get some of the area moved of the thickness there it's, um, it's all on the one side it's in the wrong place basically so that was a couple of hours work um, normally one video is about a week's work